Now, when you click on that film strip tab for the Screencastify, you're going to get a pop-up screen. It's going to give you a few options. You can either record desktop, and you can actually see my microphone here. Um, in desktop, you're going to record everything that you see on the desktop, which means your viewer will see every single thing that you see on your desktop. Um, this can be a great option if you're doing an overall tutorial or if you're wanting to go into PowerPoint to do some work there. Um, it also gives you the option to record system audio if dings and clicks for different websites are important. It also gives you the option to embed webcam, which I've chosen not to do here. Um, you can also show a preview window. Now in tab mode, you have a few other options that you don't have under desktop because um, in tab mode, you can draw on the screen and it gives you a little toolbar at the bottom to do that. And I'm going to try to show that to you now. So right now I'm, I'm recording in Screencastify and you can see my mouse is following. And we have this little toolbar down here at the bottom. And if I click on pen, it gives me the option to choose a color. I'm going to choose blue. And... I can draw on the screen. Okay, it's um, an excellent way to highlight things on websites if you're working with the kids. All right, you can also completely clear that. You can erase selectively if you want to. It's it's really similar to the way um, the smart board functions or a very simple uh, paint program. Then I can. I can hide the tools if I want to, and when I choose to stop my recording, I'm going to simply hit stop. Now doing that pops you into an immediate preview where you can see exactly what you recorded, and you can decide at that point whether you want to keep it or not. Um, unfortunately with Screencastify, it doesn't allow for any back-end editing um, because of the format that it's saved in. You can choose to save it. It'll go directly to your Google Drive and you can rename it if you wish.